just uh, loading up the trailer here and I thought I'd just do a real quick tip on uh, the chains and the hookup of the trailer uh, in case you're you know, sort of new to it or uh, curious, never done it before, but you're sort of wondering how it goes. Um, the thing that I was going to explain was how uh, my idea, which isn't really my idea, I found out about it and I thought it was a great idea, uh, makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, regarding the chains for the trailer. <clears throat> when you go to hook these things up, and this can apply to anything uh, other than a horse trailer as well, just normal, normal trailers out there. Um, but generally what I do is take these chains and I cross hook them up. So they come across there. So if anything were to ever happen, you would have the trailer fall into what other people refer to as the, the chain cradle because they're crossing like this and you can see that if I take these guys off and I hook them up straight and some people do and you know there's nothing really wrong with this I mean the chains are essentially there so that the trailer doesn't um, leave the vehicle if the hitch fails and uh, you can definitely do it this way there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, obviously, but I think it makes a lot of sense to me. When I heard it, I started doing it, um, and I think it's a great idea, so I'm just passing it on. Just a real quick tip is to take your chains and cross them like that, and that way if the, the trailer itself comes off for whatever reason, um, whether this breaks or something, uh, then it will fall down into what will end up be a bit of a cradle like that and uh, and hopefully it won't drive itself into the ground. Maybe it will. Anyways, this is a really super duper quick trailing trip tip <laughs> and um, from here I'm just going to hook this thing up here, bring this down, put the wood up, hook up my trailer cable after I clean that out because it got into the sand. Another quick tip. These kinds of things, don't let them sit on the ground, cover them up. This fell off because one of the horses was messing around with it. Um, usually I try to place it up there, nice safe spot, and uh, stuff out of the way. And if you can, actually, I've seen other people do it, I think another great tip is to completely cover this whole area um, so that it will get less rusty. These things always tend to rust out um, for some reason they don't uh, last too long. Obviously there's a lot of uh, friction and things going to happen that are going to take the paint off and then they end up rusting. But uh, if you cover this whole area with uh, sort of a plastic bag or uh, something that keeps the water out, you can actually probably increase the longevity of it. So, quick tip. so three good tips, all in one. Hopefully that helps for any of you people trailering or thinking about trailering or are trailering and you're like, hey, any ideas? So um, there you go. Thanks for watching.